This is Studio Name Online. I'm going to show you how to start doing free motion embroidery on your sewing machine. In my own practice, I use thread to create artwork, and I hope this session gives you a chance to start making your own creative pieces. To start with, I'm going to show you a few works that I made when I first learned how to free motion embroider, and then a couple of pieces that I've been making more recently. set up the sewing machine to allow the fabric and embroidery to move around freely, the feed dogs or feed teeth will need to be lowered or covered. Refer to your sewing machine manual on how to do this. My machine has a lever at the back that lowers the teeth. You'll also need to change the foot on your machine using a quilting or darning foot. I use an open toe foot as I find it easier to see what I'm working on. Use a universal quilting or embroidery needle. I set the length dial to zero and work in a straight or a basic zigzag stitch. You may need to play with the tension depending on your machine and fabric. Thread your machine in the normal way and then you're ready to start to embroider. First I'm going to hoop the fabric. Uh, it, this helps uh, stabilise the fabric as you're working on it and it makes it easier to manoeuvre once you've got it under the needle. Uh, this small hoop has been bound uh, in strips of fabric and secured in place with a couple of stitches. This is uh, can be helpful particularly when you're using thinner fabrics as it helps stop the, uh, the fabric from slipping as you're working. Today I'm just going to use a, a bare hoop though and I'm going to use some canvas material. Canvas is nice to start out with, well I found it nice to start out with because it's quite thick and it holds the stitches well as you're working and particularly if you're working with a, a thicker stitch. The um, If you uh, you've just got cotton, um, a thickish cotton or a calico at home that would work well as well. If you're using a thinner fabric you will need some kind of a stabiliser on it. So taking the inner hoop out and uh, with the outer hoop you place the fabric over the top and then pop the inner hoop inside, pushing it down. I just tighten up the screw at the top a little bit just to stop the fabric and inner hoop popping out and then push it down. 
down and hold the as you hold the inner hoop in um, place um, just pull up the edges of your fabric and this will help tauten the fabric evenly you want to do this all the way round Tighten up your ring again. And just give it another pull all the way round. And you want to make sure that it's a bit tight like a drum. So this will need tightening up with a screwdriver so you can just use your little sewing machine screwdriver to do this that's nice and tight. When starting out with free motion embroidery it's a good idea to begin with a fairly simple design like your name or initials and uh, to draw out something that has a fairly simple line to follow. I've just done some simple bubble bubble writing here uh, with a water soluble dressmaking pencil. You could use a normal pencil or um, a dressmaking pen um, or a felt tip even. Um, just something that you can see the outline of so you can start to follow it. Uh, if, you're, if you feel confident you could even um, don't bother to draw anything out and just try freestyle. Once you've placed your hoop below the needle, low the needle to just above the starting point. With free motion embroidery, you need to push your machine pedal down fairly fast, but keep the movement of the hoop steady. Think fast foot, slow hand. You need to be almost zen-like with your hand movements, even though the needle is whizzing quickly. Follow the lines of your name all the way round. With the feet dogs down, you can move your hoop in any direction and stop and start easily if you need to. off as you go so they don't get in your way um, and then you can always neaten up at the end. So I've now filled out the outline 
So we're going to have a go at filling in in colour. If I'm filling in a fairly large area, I sometimes start with zigzag stitch uh, just to fill the area quickly and then work over in a straight stitch. Uh, you might prefer to just work in zigzag uh, if you like that look. Um, perhaps start with that and then see how you go. done a little uh, bubble around the lettering and um, I'm starting to fill that in. I'm just going to work my way around and then we can have a look and see if it's worth uh, going in straight stitch afterwards. So I think I will work in a straight stitch uh, just to fill in the colour and it will uh, surround the lettering a little more clearly.
doing. Uh, every now and then um, cut away the loose threads at the back of your hoop. This will uh, stop the threads getting tangled up with your needle and make it easier to sew. Also gives a neater finish at the end as well. Also if you find dust building up in your machine uh, as you're sewing, uh, free motion embroidery can build up a lot of dust. Then just clean out the dust from underneath your uh, bobbin case and up above the needle with a, a small paintbrush. This will help your machine run better. So a simple design, but as I say, this is a good place to start out with free motion embroidery as it gives you a chance to try out the different stitches and build your confidence using the machine in this way. And who knows where it might lead you.